What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. Girl, girl, girl. Welcome back for another video. Yes, you're here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can blend your transitioning hair with your naturally curly hair using a couple of tools that are easy to find and easy to use. Are you excited? Okay, great. In this video, I will be featuring some new products that's out, okay? Some new, new. Y'all know I like the new, new. Okay, so Smooth and Shine has a new collection. It's the Camilla Oil and Shea Butter Collection. And if you don't already know, Smooth and Shine is the OG in the game. So you probably know them from this look right here. They're pink, black, and white labels. And so here it is right here. But they have some new products out with some new labels and whatnot and new packaging. So when you do walk down those aisles, okay? Don't be alarmed. This is still smooth and shine, okay? And here with me, I have their quenching cold wash, their detangling foam, and as well as their curl defining cream. So these are the products I'll be using on my hair today. And um, I'm excited to try it on out. You know, I'm always about that new, new, okay? I know that this collection is all about moisturizing and preventing frizz. And we know that sometimes frizz can happen, but hey, if you can find a product that can at least eliminate that or bring it on down, that's a positive too. And I would definitely say, you know, I already did my hair, so I would definitely say that it did help with minimizing frizz. It looks pretty good. So let's get this video started. Oh, girl, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. So first up, I'm gonna be using Smooth and Shine Camilla Oil and Shea Butter Detangling Foam. So this helps with detangling the hair, moisturizes and conditions the hair, as I mentioned earlier, okay? And it also helps with softening the hair. So the directions say shake well before using, and then apply a small amount into hands and distribute through damp hair. So that is why I ended up just going in the shower and just wetting my hair really quick and coming back. And then it says to use a wide tooth comb to evenly distribute the product through the hair and detangle. Of course, you already know to start from the ends and work your way up. It doesn't say to rinse this out. So right after I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight to the co-wash. their quenching co-wash right here oh <laughs> got a little excited girl got a little excited so focus it towards the roots working my way down in the shower this will be quicker to do like it feels like it's actually gonna do something after I rinse it out like clean cleanse it and keep my hair soft So of course my hair is looking good, okay? It really made my curls pop. Of course, you already know the front is a struggle. Next up is gonna be Smooth and Shine Camilla Oil and Shea Butter Curl Defining Cream, okay? And it says it has 24 hour curl definition. Well, all right, let's see, let's see. So this is what it looks like right here. You see that? Nice creamy consistency. And it's like a tannish taupe. Like light, light brown uh, color. All right. And I'm kind of twisting as I go down. You see that? I'm trying to be dramatic with it so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> you see that? Bow. And we're gonna go all the way down. Now my, my back is fine, so we're gonna focus on the front when it comes to that. This part I'm gonna show you how I blend in the twist with the damaged pieces. Kinda gotta work harder to make the curls pop. So of course, I'm gonna add my product, work it all in. Uh oh, catch it, it's on the brow, catch it. I drew these in, okay? So when you're splitting your hair, make sure it's in two even halves. Still gonna two strand twist all the way down. But the first thing you can do is go ahead and use a perm rod. But And I always suggest people to use a skinny perm rod. Don't use like the pink one, the white one, or like the orange ones. Definitely not the uh, green teal looking one. So you wanna use something that's small enough to go ahead and blend in towards the end with the twist. Like to add that on the end, but don't go all the way up. You basically wanna stop where the damage stops. 
because this twist looks nice and thick, I don't have to go all the way up. I'm just stopping where the hair is still like, girl, help. <laughs> so that's where I stop right there. Another option, which I have an option right here to show you, you can go ahead and just band to knot the ends. So just twisting it, twisting it, twisting it until it starts to curl on its own. And then you just wanna bobby, not bobby, you wanna go ahead and band to knot the end. Just like that. Another way that you can do it is you can go ahead and use a flexi rod, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be using Smooth and Shine hair polisher with aloe vera. Uh-oh. This helps with smoothing and conditioning and repairing the strands. So I'm gonna just put, oh, got excited. I got excited. I put too much. I just like to unroll first, see what I'm working with. Especially if you're doing chunkier twists, you wanna make sure that they're for real dry. You don't wanna like start separating and then it's a fail. Twists are looking really good, okay? This is good, this is a positive. Just in the front, we'll go ahead and just pull that on like that and then go like that. And of course, right here. So you see what we did there? Like these look pretty seamless with the twist. So to take it down, it's just basically like opening a bottle. Just undo it. And that's what it looks like. Okay, when I do with a perm rod, because it looks like that on the ends. If we do it with flexi rods, just, sometimes I just have to run myself to go a little bit higher. And then that's band two nuts. I had to say which one is my favorite to do when it comes to blending. I would definitely say using a perm rod blends it better in my opinion. Let's talk about the shine though. I'm all trying to talk about this, but look at the shine. So there's no discussion needed. Y'all see the hair. Y'all see what happened. Do y'all see this? Girl, I think you I don't think you know what happened. The curl poppage is here, okay? So as you already know the video, I did use Smooth and Shine's new Camilla Oil and Shea Butter collection. So yeah, this is legit. So my favorite from using these products definitely will have to be the quenching co-wash and the curl defining cream, okay? Definitely left my hair nice and soft and bouncy. Y'all saw the shine. We don't even have to discuss the shine that we saw. But for the ladies that are in transitioning mode, definitely pull out some perm rods or a flexi rod to go ahead and let that blend in. Or like I said, you can put a band to knot on the ends. And be sure to use the skinny perm rods and the skinny flexi rods because that's gonna allow it to blend better. If you go too big, then it's gonna look too off. Um, we want it to be able to taper down a little bit and blend in like that's your curl, okay? That's what we did today in this video. Let me know down below if this video was helpful to you because that's why I'm here. I want to help. I want to help, okay? And also, too, leave your tips down below when it comes to blending your transitioning hair with your natural curly hair. Leave it down below. Let us know what else you do. And be sure to check out Smooth and Shine. You can find these products at smoothandshine.com. Read up on it a little bit more. Kind of see what is best for you. And what I didn't realize until the end of the video, I know I'm late, but this line also says at the bottom who it's for. So the Curl Defining Cream is best for curly and coily hair. So it shows three and four on there, which I think is really cool. I don't know how I missed that. And then with the Detangling Foam, it has for curly and coily hair as well. So my three, my type three ladies and my type four ladies. And then for the Quenching Co-Wash, this is for all hair types. So starting up from one all the way up to four. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, girl. Click it. I already know you clicked it by now. And subscribe since you're already here, girl. Okay, thanks. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace. Peace. Peace.